What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking. Today we're going to be talking about um, the up You have to excuse that. Um, it's Moose and the puppy. You know, getting to know each other, man. Um, nonetheless, dude. <laughs> uh, the Omega. Alright. I've been using this every single day for everything. Um, you name it, I've been using it. Out on the town, chilling at home, I've been using this and only this. So, I'll tell you how it's been holding up, man. Uh, first off, let's talk about um, the overall build right now. Um, I've dropped it. Um, as you can see, not a single neck anywhere. Um, the finning on top here, been working well, as it should. Um, you know, I'm, I haven't had a hot drip tip. Uh, the O-ring on the inside, as you can see right there, um, just a single O-ring. Um, still super sturdy. It still has that positive click to it. Uh, I'll show you. You know, um, everything's still lining up real nice. Uh, since you know, it's just like the day I bought it. So, um, the laser etching not coming off. I've washed this. Uh, I've rubbed it with stainless steel cleaner and all that kind of crap. Uh, still holding the treat. Um, bottom um, still the etchings doing great on there uh, you know as you can see um, one thing I want to point out the amount of vapor production you're gonna get out of an atomizer um, isn't the body itself okay it isn't the actual atomizer it's the build you put in there um, the this atomizer or any atomizer for that, whether you're using an Igowell or an Omega. Um, yeah, it all has to do with your build, man. How you build those coils and the time and care you take in putting into them, man. You're going to take your time to do it right, you're going to have a great bait, man. Bottom line. So, um, now that's out of the way. For the atomizer, ease of build. You can't beat this, man. You can't. You can't beat it. Looks. It looks an absolute treat on here. Um, anything, it's 22 millimeter. So if you got a 22 millimeter device, <laughs> come on, dude. You're stoked. <laughs> um, so the O ring's been holding up great. Um, any issues so far with it? None, really. A um, little condensation on the side. Um, see if I can get it in there. Yeah, you see that, right? Um, that's natural, man. That's a, that's natural. That's going to happen. It's part, of, it's part of dripping, man. Um, but still, even with that, I mean, you know, going on and off, even with the wet, I mean, it takes effort to get that o-ring off which is perfect o-rings are important in dripping man so oh measure this out so we'll show it off real quick show you what I'm working with here okay um, just a little build here um, it's hot today here man hey Cool. We'll measure this out. Yeah, they're getting after it. <laughs> this one is measuring at, yeah, 0 0.21, man. So, not 0.2. Mm, it jumps like that. Yeah, 0.2 ohms, man.
It's a vape, man. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I've used a lot of different builds in this. And everyone's, you know, been pretty good. So, yeah, man. Every day. It's been amazing. Hey, Fritz. Go on. Hey, go on. Been amazing. Thanks for watching. Any questions? Doug is getting crazy. I gotta get off here. Any questions? Comment below, man. What? You stop. Oh no, he didn't. Puppy pee. Brutal time. See ya.